Hi everybody, I'm Matteo and this is my Drupal consultant Conillo and this is the second tutorial on how to build a gallery using Drupal a gallery with full functionality without using one of the big models that are, do a lot of stuff but are not really customizable, not really flexible in this tutorial we're going to see how to use very small, lot of small little models to, to get a very complete gallery solution in the previous tutorial we have, we have created the first content type and the first setting now we are continuing and now we are going to see how to create this function here above you see this is our gallery and uh, here above we have this function view edit that's the standard for a node but we have bulk upload all the photos reorder all the photos edit bulk edit all the caption and publish and unpublish our gallery because you know a gallery is not just an article you need time probably to create it and so maybe you want to edit um, unpublish for a while so let's go back to our uh, brand new Drupal installation first of all let's add some dummy content we add a new album this is an album this is the album body and uh, then we cannot add a cover yet because we don't have any picture see. and here it is our brand new created album we have view edit button now the first button we are going to see is how to add unpublish this is very easy we get it with this model here publish content that simply add this button to our content so we go back to our installation we now are in the model page we scroll down and it is the other publish content this configuration back to home to our new album and here it is the publish and publish button now we want to create the next one that is the bulk upload function and we add a marvelous model to do this that is bulk upload model the bulk media upload sorry bulk media upload does exactly this upload a lot of file all together and create the corresponding notes it is still under development, but for what I've seen, it does perfectly the task we need. So go back to our Drupal installation, we install the model, we don't go to the process of uploading and installing the model, it's all the same. Then we go to the configuration, um, media, bulk media upload settings, and here we are. And uh, in entity type, we need node. Then, okay, it's already here. Uh, the bundle is uh, mm, photo, and the media field is our image field. Save the configuration. So, why this? Because we are creating nodes, the node type we are creating in is photo, and the file we are uploading are going to be stored in this field, our image file field. Now we have a new page that is bulk media upload and here it is that allow us to upload the picture but we want to do something more. We want that the picture we upload are already related and linked to the album they, they belong and uh, and we want to access this page this page from here to to achieve this result we are going to use a um, page manager that is a sub model of chaos tools we have already installed chaos tools because it was a dependency of a model we already have used in the first tutorial so we should have it already installed and we go here total pages and this is the main page of page manager 
If you don't know how it works, uh, there is a wonderful tutorial at no1.scandinavia uh, and I will suggest you to follow it because it's very very interesting. Now we see we go to our process and we are going to create our uh, bulk upload redirect. We don't need a, a description now because the title says everything. And we are going to use these scheme. Why this scheme? Because uh, uh, all the nodes have uh, this URL node slash um, node ID uh, slash edit or slash unpublish and we are going to create upload. The variant type is HTTP response code. Uh, optional feature we have the selection rules and the access control. Okay. Here page manager asks us what is this and we have to assign this and say that this is the node ID. Let's continue. This is the access control. We want that only the people who can do this who are editor can just this link. Here are the selection rules and we want this only on one node type that is our album. The response code we want is 301 redirect. Here we want to redirect this to our bulk media upload page. This one okay but we want something more we want to add field our field is uh, album node id this is our field is the field that create the uh, relationship between the photo and the album and we want it to be filled with entity prepopulate, the model we have installed in the previous uh, tutorial, we want to be prepopulated at the creation with the link to our album. We have finished. And we say no. But we have not finished because we want to have a menu. Menu tab. Title. Upload. Wait, let's say three. Update and save. And here we are. Now, if we go back to our home page, to our album, we got the upload button. If we click on the upload button, we get to the bulk media upload page and look this this is very important we have already the reference to our album so all the picture that will be uploaded here will be referenced to our album and we will see soon an example of this and here it is we are not trying to upload some picture uh, right now because we want first of all created the other two buttons that are reorder a caption we are going to use again a custom page from um, page manager but this time we are not using um, a redirection but we are using panel another model that will suit better for what we are going to do we could use a view page instead but i think it's more practical to use panel so this is what i'm going to show you we are adding a new custom page and this one will be to reorder our items and the all will be the same same scam we have already seen and as a variant type where you, we are using not HTTP response code but that panel we want to set an access control visible menu item and selection rules 
here Drupal asks us what node means. We want to tell that it is the node ID of our content. Continue. What are the access control rules? Well, first of all, we want that only the editor can use this page. So, oh, pardon, there's a role. And we want only editor and administrator. Then we want our menu shown only on album pages. So, that said, not take this will be an album oh I think I forgot to set this when we were making the, um, the upload page we want to do this also on the upload page so please do this S uh, menu settings we want we are using the menu tab the title of this is router that's what the way to to have it after the upload function and then the selection rules we want these only on one node type again that is our album page continue and here is when panels arrive we want just one column continue we leave everything as it is here and let's leave it empty for the moment in the next tutorial we're going to fill it now we finish we save it and we go back to our pages and we do exactly exactly the same for our edit caption I will do it uh, very fast for you so new custom page then this is for caption our while the not caption we want we use panel touch of control possible menu items selection rules continue change this is the our node ID continue Then get to access control. We want only editor to use this. Save. Then we want only not type album to display this menu item. We continue. Menu settings. We want a menu tab. This will be captions the so after the one selection rules just not type add album save continue just one column continue leave everything as it is for the moment leave everything as it is for the moment just update and save and here it is back to our album we have all our button upload already works while these just take us to blank pages well in the next tutorial we are going to replace this blank pages with fully functional pages. See you, bye bye from me and from Cornelo.